We're so excited today to have our business and industry partners showing up here on campus. What a beautiful day. These people are really collaborating with us, guaranteeing that our programs and our training meet the current industry needs. Also, it's just a time to fellowship and enjoy one another. Here at Chipola, our workforce programs uh, require that we stay in contact, constant contact with the business and industry partners who receive the, the workforce that we train. And we survey them. It's a requirement of SACs, it's a requirement for Perkins funding, and we make sure we're yoked together uh, as we must be to see our local economy flourish. My name is Sandra Cornelius. I serve as Senior Vice President for Career Source Florida. One important feature that we talked about at today's luncheon was Florida's skills gap issue. Florida is not unique in its skills gap. Virtually every state in the country has an issue with skills gap. But what's great about Florida, particularly the collaborative organizations here at Chipola, as they're working on a plan to address the talent gap. Florida has over 408,000 people looking for work and 232 companies looking for people. It's an issue. We want to bring those two metrics closer together, and we can do so by working collaboratively, but always being led by business. Hi, I'm Richard Williams. I'm the Executive Director of Career Source Chipola and Opportunity Florida. Um, we're here today with the Advisory Council meeting at Chipola College. Uh, it's a great thing for this college to have all of these wonderful individuals, especially from the private sector, that are willing to give of their time to help improve the training programs here, because these training programs are what's going to make a big difference in our region. I've worked in Jackson County for several years, but from my experience, there just seems to be a, an increased ener energy and increased focus in the area of uh, recruiting business and industry to our, our county. And it is vitally needed, I feel like, especially from uh, the standpoint of our local education system. We've been a, in a declining enrollment for several years, and I see this as the only way to turn that around and, and to, to make a shift in that down, downward trend to an upward trend and, and see some growth in our school system.